Guys, welcome to another edition of Market Marauders, beating the market one trade at a time. If you're new to Market Marauders, it's an investment channel, helps you find the best deals of the market. If that's something that you're interested in, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, like, comment, and share. Um, now, today we'll be jumping into uh, an update on Tesla. So, today, uh, Tesla recently uh, released their Gigafactory Berlin rendering. Uh, so, it's basically what the factory is going to look like. But, Gonna give a little update on you know things going on with Tesla and some background on their Gigafactories. Uh, so let's jump into it. So uh, today the stock ended at one thousand five hundred forty-six dollars and one cent. Um, moving average ten is one thousand five hundred forty-four. Twelve moving average fifty is one thousand five hundred twenty-six eighty-eight, and moving average one hundred is one thousand five hundred eighteen. Uh, dollars and 65 cents so it ended above its moving average uh, 10 50 and 100 so to me you know it's still on a bullish run um, and we can see that denoted by it breaking out and going above its moving average 50 and the price ending above its moving average 10 so the way that I determine if a stock is bullish or bearish is if it's going in the positive direction and it's above its moving average, the moving average 10 is above the moving average 50 uh, and the moving average 100, then to me that denotes that a stock is bullish. So just bear that in mind, that's how I determine if a stock is bullish or bearish. Um, this uh, is the Webull platform. Um, if you would like to join Webull, I have a link down below where you can join Webull and get two free stocks. Uh, also, I have a link down below if you can join Robinhood. Either platform, um, I like to use both of them, uh, but for analyzing charts, I like Webull's charts a lot better. So let's go into some background information uh, on some of the previous factories. So let's go into, this is their Fremont factory. So on their battery day that they have coming up, this will be the factory that they're going to have um, the actual um, battery day at. So this is their Fremont factory. It's in Fremont, uh, California. And it says it's uh, 370 acres, 5.3 million square feet. Um, it says today more than 10,000 employees work in the Fremont factory. So it's not a small factory. Um, you can go in here and look at the chain. So it has uh, the main facility right here is body. Uh, alongside that is assembly, stamping, plastics, and paint. So in this factory, they have you know a lot of different uh, buildings uh, scattered throughout their campus that is actually um, you know their whole supply chain process so basically this is how you know they make the cars at this specific factory so it says as one of the largest manufacturing employees in California Tesla stimulated 5.5 billion in sales um, activity and generated 4.1 billion in direct spending in the state uh, in fiscal year 2017 alone. The same year, Tesla also created 51,000 jobs in California, including our employees and jobs throughout our supply chain. Uh, to support the ramp of vehicle production, Tesla is focused to ensure workforce is trained uh, and the advanced skills uh, unique to Tesla's production process uh, while taking a proactive approach to safety. So 51,000 jobs is quite a bit of jobs uh, for this factory, uh, and quite a bit of jobs in general, so doing a lot of good um, as far as supplying jobs to um, California. Also, it says this facility has um, employee training center, cafeteria, food trucks, gym, um, and 24-7 in-house medical center and outdoor patios. So, you know, it's a pretty large facility uh, and a lot of cool things, um, employee-focused um, in the actual facility. So that's pretty cool. Going to their other factory, we've got Gigafactory 2. Uh, this one is in uh, South Park Avenue, uh, Buffalo, New York. Um, it says it's 1.2 million square foot facility in Buffalo, New York in 2019. Uh, Tesla added a production line that support that will support electrical uh, components for supercharger energy storage products. Uh, it says to date, Tesla has created nearly 800 jobs at Gigafactory 2 and continues to ramp production. Um, it says this was secured uh, the foundation for State University of New York. Tesla secured Gigafactory 2 through acquisition of Solar City in 2016. 
It says, in line with, uh, with agreements with the state of New York, Tesla will continue 5,000 clean energy jobs uh, in the state over 10 years. Many of those in Buffalo making the city hub sustainable innovation and advanced manufacturing. So that's their Gigafactory 2 um, in New York. It has solar roof, uh, power wall, uh, home battery, and power pack battery systems uh, for commercial and utility scale sites. So really nice facility on that one. Um, the other one I had to go actually into one of their uh, event tabs to find information on this one because I couldn't find it on their website. But this is um, the Gigafactory Shanghai. So this is uh, the most recent one that they had built um, that opened uh, last year. So, or the beginning of this year. Um, and this is the Shanghai factory. It's a pretty large factory. Um, you know, really nice factory. They produce, um, let's see, they have the Model 3 that they have there. Um, and they have a lot of other vehicles that they produce there. But uh, this is basically the Shanghai factory. Uh, couldn't really find too much information on that. Uh, just didn't do a deep dive on that. Uh, but going into that, they produced a lot of jobs for this uh, factory. And the one... Um, positive that I saw about the Shanghai factory is that it seemed to be all um, inclusive. So unlike the Tesla factory that is in uh, Fremont, you know, has scattered buildings, uh, this one is all internal to the facility itself. So, you know, that's pretty cool, uh, in my opinion, to have all those facilities and all those processes uh, in-house and not scattered throughout uh, a campus. So going into the new one that they have the rendering for, this is the Gigafactory Berlin. Uh, so this is the rendering that they have. You can see they have a lot of solar panels uh, across the top. Uh, so, you know, going green, uh, it wouldn't have it any other way because they do produce solar panels themselves. Um, if you look on here, they have uh, quite a large water feature in the front uh, and one on the top as well. Uh, so on the top of the building, you can see they have a water feature. It seems to be an outdoor uh, patio area, you know, kind of a... Uh, greenery top area uh, which looks pretty cool uh, they also have another f facility off to the side uh, which looks cool as well uh, so, but let's jump into uh, some specs on the building itself so uh, Gigafactory Berlin is the next phase in Tesla's uh, presence in Europe already operate uh, an assembly factory I mean assembly facility for Model S and Model X in Tilburg and Netherlands, in addition, Tesla Groem Automation in Prim, Germany, specializes in automation of our production process. In total, we currently already employ around 5,500 uh, people in Europe. It says located at 300 hectare site in the municip municipality of, I cannot pronounce that, Grunheind. It's, sorry, our German is terrible. Grunhein uh, construction of Gigafactory Berlin uh, began in 2020 with production targeted to 2021. Phase 1 will focus on production of Model Y. We estimate during Phase 1 we will employ up to 12,000 engineers, uh, production leaders, associates, and technicians, as well as operational functions with roles being filled by local residents and employees from wider Europe. Uh, we want the best talent collaborating and working together to achieve the mission. So 12,000, you know, engineers, production leaders, associates, uh, technicians is, you know, quite a tall order to fill. That's a lot of people. Um, at the bottom of this tab is actually, you know, a career section where you can go and apply. So, you know, if you're interested in that, uh, you know, just Google um, Gigafactory Tesla. And at the bottom of the article that I'm reading, it actually shows... Um, you know, you can go apply. So if you're looking for a job, you know, there you go. Uh, if you have the skills uh, to work and you don't mind, you know, transferring to Germany um, and working for Tesla, there you go. Um, it says Giga Factory Berlin uh, will have solar roof uh, and a mist use renewable electricity to help Germany uh, and Brandenburg achieve its ambitious um, energy wide 
objectives. We aim to maximize the benefits of locations, uh, excellent passenger and freight rail connections by building an on-site rail freight yard and making it as attractive as possible to commute uh, to the factory by rail. So that would be pretty cool uh, if they have a rail system, uh, which I think may be this section over here where you can just, you know, ride the train into work. Uh, you don't have to worry about driving a car, uh, which, you know, is pretty cool. So, you know, that's the new factory. You know, I think there are a lot of good positive things going on for the company uh, as a whole. Uh, I definitely see them, you know, going up from here, um, especially since they have this, this bullish run. Uh, in my opinion, I think they'll continue their bullish run. Uh, and, you know, a lot of prices have been out there as target-wise. Um, I've seen like 22 uh, 30 as a price. I've seen 2000 just in general as a price. Uh, but I do believe, you know, with all the things going on, Battery Day as well as the earnings next week will definitely determine, you know, the future of this company's stock price. Um, now, it has fluctuated quite a bit. Um, you know, a lot of people short it, uh, as you can see all this red right here, you know, people short it like crazy, but also people buy it like crazy. So it's kind of the best of both worlds, um, as far as, you know, trading is concerned, but, uh, over the long term, you know, in my opinion, I think if you're bullish on, you know, Tesla, you, you basically have gone, uh, down the right path because, you know, history has shown that being bullish on Tesla, uh, you, you kind of win on that. I know way back, um, probably in March, it was like 500 a share, and now it's 1500 a share. So you essentially would have made, you know, like a thousand dollar profit uh, if you would just bought, you know, all your shares in March when the whole economy went down. But um, drop a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think of Tesla. Do you think it's bullish? Do you think it's bearish? And uh, what are your thoughts on the new factory um, in Berlin? All right. Good luck training to you all out there. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.